one and all to the tale of woe that is Bumblebee at the moment. Um, in the previous video, link above if you haven't seen it, uh, we looked at the cylinder head issues, uh, namely a suspect head gasket. So tonight I'm going to whip the head off, everything's all stripped off around it, uh, exhaust is loose, uh, radiator uh, brackets and stuff are out, all the pipes and connections are at this side and I'm going to lift the cylinder head off complete with the inlet plenum attached because um, in a previous video I said what absolute pain in the backside it was putting it on so I don't want to take it off uh, so what I'll do is a bit of a time lapse of that um, in the last video there was some in-car footage uh, as promised um, and as you'll have seen it was virtually no different to what it was before uh, it certainly did pick up uh, low speed and from low revs a lot better than uh, the previous cam but who knows how well it's going to go um, it went well enough as it was with a blown head gasket but how much better is it going to be with an unblown head gasket well hopefully we'll find out fairly soon but tonight's job is to whip the head off and have a look and see what the damage is Because of the dry decking, uh, there's water escaping out of the back of the head down the block and it's probably going to fill in all the uh, all the bores as well I would imagine, but we'll just uh, see how it goes. Right, the head's about ready to lift off. All I've got to do now is take out the two end studs that are like that because the head won't come off with them in place. Um, and then I'll move the camera down closer as I lift it up. But I'll not bother filming this last little bit. It's a mini swimming pool. Yeah, as I suspected, the uh, the water did run out of the head and into the uh, mind you. It looks as though those valves have been bloody close to those uh, pistons. Jesus! Oh, Christ! Let's get this water drained out first. I think. Okay then the head's off, I've drained the water out, I'm looking to see what marks I can see on the pistons. And you can see on the either side, on the top crown of the piston there's slight marks where the valves have been hitting. Evident on all four, but the worst one is that one and that one. Uh, cylinder one, there's hardly any marks at all and that was the one I checked. So apologies for the crackling but I can't do anything about that, it just seems to be this uh, microphone that I'm using to do the voiceover with. So that's the state of the pistons and apart from the marks in the top they're looking alright, there's a bit of carbon in there but nothing major. So now I think I have a look at the cylinder head. 
Yeah, there we go. Just waving my arms about. Probably saying something really important, but I've no idea what it was. Just imagine me saying something important and decisive. Here we go. Here's the cylinder head that we took off. This is the Steve Harris Motorsport 1. Alternator and all the various bits there lying next to it. And when you look at it, as best you can, when I'm trying to shine some light on it, get a light on it. There we go. Get some focus on the job. There. You can see that cylinder 1. There's virtually no marks at all on there. Just carbon. If the camera was pointing at the right bit, it'd be a bit easy, but never mind. Slight, slight little bit of mark there on the exhaust valve, but very, very little. And then obvious, very obvious marks on cylinders two and three that you can see there, especially on that uh, exhaust valve. And again, on the inlet, but as I'm demonstrating there, there's no actual step. It's just purely... a uh, a mark in the carbon on the uh, on the valve same with that one on that side you, again you can see the nicely defined mark where the crown of the piston is or, or the crown of the piston was but again there's no there's no step there in fact the only step is actually in the carbon build up on the exhaust valves and on the piston um, and again, the inlet on that one looks all right. Don't know what I'm trying to explain there. Don't know. Probably trying to explain that I might have bent the valves, but it's not obvious. They look all right. And they still do look all right, but they looked all right there and all. Okay, so we've got to try and remember what the hell I was saying in this bit. <laughs> It helps if you don't leave it for about two weeks and then just sit in your hotel room trying to remember what you said. But uh, if I checked the footage after I shot it, I would have known. But never mind. Uh, here we are, just probably uh, rambling on about what a tale of one. How the hell am I going to fix this? Um, yeah, so all I could do at that point was really just try and think out of the parts I have or had at that time. What I was going to do to try and fix it, I was going to assess the cylinder head a bit more, uh, which is what you see in the sort of in the next one, and uh, do some shopping around, see what parts are available to fix the issue that I've got, and try and work out how to stop those valves from hitting the pistons. Oh dear me, I think that bit said. Oh dear me, FFFF and switch off. Aye, right, so don't forget to like, comment away and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one.